off this. This is way, way, way much. Okay. Well, hello and welcome back. As you can see, I got my big ass fan going over there. Um, it's moving a lot faster than the camera's showing, but you know, video fun. This is what we got going on. This is just a little glass removal tool that I bought from Harbor Freight. It was like $14. And I don't know if you'll be able to see that. We don't want to flex it too much because we're still sealed in up here. So we're going to try to work our way around. And $14 versus $700, I'm okay with. Because all you need is a caulk gun and some windshield sealant and suction cups and press that bitch back in. That's the one good thing about YouTube. It has all the information you need. So let's see what we can do with this. Uh, here and uh, go from there. You sit right there. Well, that'll get you some of it. That's what we want to try to avoid. But that's all right. Because if we can get it. Corners are tough. Do we dare try to change the blade? I say we change the blade. Turn back. All right. We got a fresh blade. Now, mind you, it is Harbor Freight, so it can't be that good. But so far, it's been working. Uh, let's try to get you somewhere good here. Um. I'll just have to do what I did. Just work it a couple times.
bottom one there pretty good. But we can probably try this up here. So, Let's try a different approach here. Not enough room. Well, boys and girls, we got it. Without breaking the windshield, there is not a single crack. Rear windshield. Hatch glass, whatever you want to call it. But she is... She is free. We're going to transfer it over to that box with some styrofoam. What I did... Is I used a little torch... I took the handle off of that and just used that. So we're going to do the same thing on that window right there. Um, because this car is going to the body shop next week. So let me get you set up somewhere so we can pull this rear glass out. And we can investigate underneath very very 
I am impressed. So this is the windshield channel. I mean, you got a little bit of shit that we gotta clean off, but I'm not worried about that. You know what I'm not seeing? Take a guess in the comments below. What am I not seeing on this hatch? That is saving my ass more money. No rust. So, like I said before, the glass company that I called, they quoted me $700 to remove and reinstall all the glass in the car without the price of a new windshield. Well, when I found the rust repair and the frame damage, I was like, I can't, I can't justify that. So a little searching and video watching and um, a little bit of soul searching, I decided to brave it and do the glass myself. And we didn't break that quarter glass. We didn't break the hatch glass. We got to get that one out. But once I do that, then I can strip the door, that door over there, get the drill going, um, have the battery charging, hopefully uh, the drill still works because it was a highway drill. Story on that. Found this drill, this Milwaukee, on the side of the highway when I was towing a car. Um, along with... Uh, that Ryobi and that Ryobi tool there without batteries, but the Milwaukee had a battery right there So You know with that it worked, but then I left it in my truck and I think it got a little wet So we're gonna see because I have to draw out the rivets for the window motor to get the glass out because of the design and then I can strip all the harness out and everything like that which at the end of the day it's not a big deal uh, we'll get it done but I think we're gonna try to torch method on that glass right there and see what happens shall we Let's get you in a good spot over here
Well, the blood, the blood, the blood. So, if that's any indication, or that, or that, yeah, I expected it to happen, honestly. I honestly thought I was going to break all of them. But this still makes me happy. No rust. Uh, that window is actually sitting on eBay right now. So I'm good with that. Um, yeah. So I'll get the shot back in there. Clean all that one up. That was my own stupidity. You know, it is what it is. So I just got to pay the price of a quarter glass. You don't know if you don't try. That's all there is to it. Um, so we live and we learn. Now, if I wanted to, I could probably weld some shit in, but it won't be good. And so we're going to leave that part to the professional 100%. And then as far as gluing these glasses back in, you know, it's just a matter of cleaning off all the old crap, priming the glass, and then putting the adhesive on, slapping it on there, taping it down, let it sit. But before the glass goes in, we're going to tin it. Because it'll be easier. Um, the door glass, I'll tint in the doors. Because that'll be easier, but I'll make sure they're super, super clean coming out. We'll see you in the next one.